Capoeira is an art form, it's a cultural expression that was born in Brazil of African heritage. The enslaved African people that were taken from their homes across the ocean and made to work in horrible conditions, in oppressive conditions in Brazil. Capoeira was a fusion of African art forms as well as uh, indigenous expressions and it was created as a game that the enslaved African people could play together, uh, a way for them to share culture, to share history, to empower themselves, to use it as a mechanism for liberty and for freedom, as a way to separate their mind and their body from the situations that they were living in. Uh, the diaspora of Afro-Brazilian culture has spread through shows and performances around the world, first through Europe, North America, and later into Australia, which is where I first discovered Capoeira. Uh, and since meeting our master, Mestre Cicatriz, he's uh, from Rio de Janeiro, he came along, uh, he lived in Australia for almost 20 years, and he shared Capoeira and Brazilian culture, and Batucada, and Makulele, and Samba de Roda, and all of the beautiful, amazing elements that came from such a horrible background. Uh, and then I was fortunate enough to travel back with Mestri to Brazil a couple of times and we've worked in projects in areas where disadvantaged kids are then further exposed to capoeira as a means and a mechanism for them to find a way forward and to continue to grow in a much more positive path than, again, the destructive elements that could be around them. The nature of the art form is that people get given nicknames. And so my nickname became Sokech because I have uh, big legs and I le allegedly kick quite hard. So uh, Capoeira created an environment and a place that was really positive and really welcoming for me. It helped me to grow as a human being and it kept me busy and kept me in classes away from other destructive elements that were you know, present in, uh, in my life. Now Capoeira is a part of my life, it's, it's an everyday thing for me. Uh, as an art form, Capoeira has a huge and a strong martial art element. What makes Capoeira unique is that all of the other combat systems or fighting styles or martial arts from around the world, they've all been built and created for destruction. Capoeira is at the other end of the scale because it was built for peace, for freedom, for love and for liberty. It was an art form that was an expression of peace, of freedom. And in that way, it's very different from all other martial arts that I've ever come across. As an art form, Capoeira is way more than just a martial art. The elements that were fused together to make capoeira the art form it is were drawn from necessity. The music and the acrobatic side were used to disguise the combative training, but they are also elements that have grown alongside or with the whole art form. The music and the instruments and all of the other cultural expressions that come along with capoeira. Like I say, the diaspora of capoeira and Afro-Brazilian culture has happened outside of Brazil because of the music, the art, the culture and the dance in performances and in shows and slowly the capoeira masters have settled into different areas of the world to share their passion, to share their knowledge, to share the information that they have and so when you come to capoeira you're going to learn musical instruments and songs and the songs are going to tell you about the history and they're going to tell you about uh, life lessons and along with that celebrations, samba, uh, Brazilian drumming, the batucada that we play, the makulele, the dance of the warrior, there are so many more elements than just two people trying to hurt each other. That's definitely not uh, a major focus for capoeira. So outside of Brazil, teaching capoeira can be a, more of a challenge because non-Brazilians don't really get the context at first. They don't have so much understanding and information on where capoeira has come from and what the history of Brazil is like. Uh, and so it's our job as teachers, especially a non-Brazilian teacher, to make sure I understand as much of the culture and context as possible so that I can share that. In 2010, uh, I spent some time in Brazil with our master, Mestre Cicatriz, and groups of students from all of our other countries. 
I received the level of instructor uh, during that trip and shortly after that my wife and I decided to move to Canada. Uh, so we came to Canada, I started teaching here in 2011 and my goals was just to share capoeira with the people of Toronto, the people of Canada. Capoeira had made so many positive changes to my life that I really wanted to facilitate the same change in other people. To grow through capoeira, its metaphors, its stories, its art, its expression. And we managed to do that really successfully. Uh, here we are nearly nine years later and uh, we managed to open a full-time academy. And so capoeira in Scarborough in Toronto is really growing. We're expanding. And our ultimate goal is to have a, a, an amazing place where people can grow and learn Brazilian culture and Brazilian art uh, and positively influence the lives of other people.